The financial deepening Zambia, FSDZ, has observed that informal financial services have remained resilient amid minor setbacks in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the FinScope 2020 survey, informal financial inclusion declined to 32 Point three percent from 37.9% in 2015 as more adults were using formal financial services. FSDZ head in informal finance Chipili Mwaba tells Cabinet News that according to their findings, about 91% of saving groups have continued saving while 32% reported some challenges in the wake of the COVID-19 details in this report country has continued to make significant gains in financial inclusion despite the prevailing economic challenges. The FinScope 2020 survey findings indicated that financial inclusion increased to 69.4% from 59.3% in 2015. However, the uptake of informal financial products stands at 32.3%. The global COVID-19 pandemic has continued to affect various sectors of the economy and informal financial services have not been spared. But positively, there has been resilience. To understand the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in the informal sector, I engaged an organization that champions financial inclusion called Financial Deepening Zambia, FSD. FSD head of informal finance Chipili Mwaba tells Cabinet News that according to their findings, 91% of savings groups have exhibited resilience while 32% reported some challenges. Collecting information to investigate and understand the impact of COVID-19 on savings group operations and what we found is quite interesting and we have um, we've done the first wave and second wave of data collection and uh, from the results that we have already analyzed from the first wave of um, information or data that we analyzed, uh, we found, or we have found that actually 91% of the savings groups that were interviewed have continued with uh, operations. And of course, there are some that have reported, only 32% that have reported that they're having challenges. She explains that some of the challenges that have been witnessed include reduced savings and low loan repayment rates among some groups. Some of the groups that we interviewed actually do face challenges but have not stopped and the challenges are facing mainly on the reduced savings and also there are some groups that reported that they're having challenges with loan repayments and also some groups that say okay so we we have social fund which was mainly meant for emergencies within the groups but then there are a lot of um, there's a there's redirection of this fund to COVID-19 emergencies and problems and uh, we've abandoned um, the, the, the real, you know, challenges that we had initially designed to, 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 to address with the social fund. And Ms. Muaba says savings groups are adhering to COVID-19 guidelines. And um, we, we're still waiting to analyze more information and what we are looking at now is uh, to, you know, uh, keep on engaging and advising members on what they can do. We um, early last year uh, also released some savings group uh, COVID-19 guidelines to just also uh, help members uh, or advise, not help, but advise members on what they could do to continue with their savings group operations while keeping safe and also mitigating uh, the, you know, COVID. Available data shows that as of 2020, 8.0% of adults belonged to Chilimba, 5.3% of adults belonged to a saving group, and 2.2% of adults belonged to a village bank. Patrick Soko, Kamnit News.